Hi, Micropunter here, and today I want to look at testes from the inside. How does how do testes look from the inside? Well, I dissected some testes uh, because I wanted to know how the sperm actually look like. I wanted to find the sperm moving. Unfortunately, this did not quite work. I mean, I found a lot of other cells. Um, I was able to stain them blue, and uh, this looked also quite nice. But unfortunately, for whatever reason, no sperm. Um, luckily, at the end, I am able to show you some sperm, some live sperm moving. Well, some of my subscribers are not giving me an easy time. Uh, they asked me, a lot of them actually asked me to put sperm under the microscope. In the, where in the world am I supposed to get the sperm from? Okay, sperm, 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 sperm. Uh, that's what they want to see. And uh, so I said, okay, well, um, well, I do have a possible source. What I have here is a slide box. And there is a slide here with uh, rabbit testes. Okay, and uh, when you put this under the microscope, you're going to see a cross section of the testes. And yes, there are plenty of sperm in there as well. And but that's not really what they were interested in because they wanted to see live sperm, right? Um, and the sperm here on the slide, they're not moving anymore. Well, so this is basically a challenge. Uh, and uh, so I ventured out and I tried to organize some live sperm and it was not so easy. And so I told myself, well, we're living in the 21st century and nowadays you buy things online over the internet. And so maybe you can also buy some sperm online. And yes, you can. And I found a web page and there, there were selling sperm and uh, they were all the people were listed uh, all the sperm donors were listed with their descriptions and their characteristics and then I was already about, about to buy a sperm sample when I realized that one sample costs over 630 euros that's a lot of money and I said I'm not willing to pay that much so I clicked away and I gave up and then I said okay well uh, next uh, next possibility I'm just gonna try to buy some sperm cell at the supermarket. So I went to the supermarket um, and I went uh, to the counter and I said, I wanna order a pair of bull's testicles. That's what I did and that's what I got. And it didn't even cost me anything because uh, these things uh, cannot be sold. I had to order them. So basically what they did is, is the butcher there called the farmer and ordered some bull's testicles and that's what I got. And uh, so two days after I ordered it, um, I was really happy. I could uh, take uh, back home a little plastic bag with quite a lot of bull's testicles. And this is uh, what I tried to dissect. And then I tried to extract the sperm cells directly from the testicles. It didn't work. Okay, but I'm still gonna show you, okay? So what did I do? Of course, first of all, I had to unpack everything. I had uh, to remove all of the connective tissue and I had to find myself around a little bit because I didn't really know <laughs> where the testicle started and where the connective tissue ended. I had to remove all of this extra stuff. I used my dissecting tools to do that. Um, and then ultimately I was able to do the first incisions. I mean, it just already hurts just looking at it, I have to admit. Um, but then I cut it open a little bit and I was able to get directly to the testis tissue. And I tried to get some of the testis tissue on my microscope slide. And I put the microscope slide under the microscope and I saw nothing. It was really disappointing. It was really disappointing. I mean, I did see a whole bunch of cells floating around. So what I did is I, I stained them. I added some ink uh, to them so that they stay in blue. Um, and uh, then I could see the cells and this was really nice and it really uh, worked quite well, but I did not see any moving sperm cells. Um, so what I tried as well is I tried now to squeeze uh, the, the sperm duct a little bit and try to extract some sper sperm cells from there as well. But here I didn't see anything either. So I was really disappointed here it didn't work um, I tried uh, very hard uh, much more than I'm just showing to you right now uh, to see some sperm cells I did, did see a lot of cells um, I did also see a little bit of movement around but I, I think these were not really sperm cells it was some kind of brownian motion maybe so maybe the sperm cells which are quite delicate maybe they already died because the testis tissue was already a couple of days old so maybe if there's not enough oxygen supply because there is no blood supply well maybe they die quite quickly and, and so this was a little bit an unfortunate thing so I, I was a little bit frustrated I have to admit because all of this hope dissipated very quickly because I could not get any sperm cells out of the testes now what 
now what? Okay, so next try I said, okay, well, if this doesn't work, then at least uh, we can uh, feed the testes to the dog. The dog, the dog. My mother has a dog, he's a boy. Forget about it. it, it won't work. The dog's gonna bite me if I try to extract um, some sperm cells uh, using my syringe. So this is not gonna work. Um, so let's just forget about it. Cruelty to animals is another thing that you don't wanna do. But I said, okay, last hope, last hope. Why not try to go online and find some sperms, some sperm cells online. Maybe somebody already filmed it. So what I did is I went to the webpage of Wikimedia Commons and I typed in live sperm and I actually was able to find some live sperm under the microscope which was published by somebody else and these these videos really showed very well the moving of the sperm under the microscope so why all of the problem why all of this hassle if actually it can be so easily done as well so this is essentially the project, the not so successful sperm project. And uh, in any case, um, sometimes the straightforward way is always the best one. Just go online, find yourself a video that shows what you wanna see. In this case, many people have already looked at live sperm under the microscope. No need to dissect any testes here. No need to look at any prepared slides. All you gotta do is, is you gotta watch the right videos. I wish you a nice day. Happy microbe hunting. All the best, bye bye.